All right, can you say that again? Yeah, this is Jack from Windows Support Center. I'm just calling in regards to your computer, okay? Okay, which one? This is your Windows computer, sir. Wh yeah, which, which computer of mine? Which computer, sir? The, the computer which is the oldest one in which you are using your internet frequently. Yeah, so I have mo many computers. Which computer are you talking about? Sir, we are having a computer license key number, so just go ahead and turn on any one of the computer so that I can make it out which computer is sending error signals, okay? Okay, but which one? Because I have many of them. I have... Just switch on any one, just switch on any one of them, sir. Alright, I'm sitting in front of one of them. And what do you want me to do? One of them. Yeah, just look on your keyboard on the extreme left hand side bottom corner. Do you find CTRL control key? Uh, yes, what about it? Yeah, just next right to that. Which key do you see? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I see the Windows key. What about it? Yeah, just press Windows key along with the letter R. R as in Romeo. Okay. And, and what does that do? I'm just trying to detect the error and notifications from which computer I'm getting, okay? Now, how would you know that my computer has an error? Okay, sir, because we are having a computer license key number which is attached with the Windows server. If you want to match your computer license key number, you can match, sir. So, this minute, you give, give me the, uh, the serial number of the computer that you've detected the error on. You want your license key number? I want you to give me the serial number of the computer that you have detected an error on since you're phoning me. Yeah, sir, we have the license key number of your computer which is sending error signals, okay? Now, what is that license key? Yeah, sir, just hold on, I'm just providing you. Yeah, it's 888 DCA 60 hyphen. Say that again, 348. 888 Oh, 888, yeah. DCA 60. Yeah. F C 0 A. F what? 11. No, F, what's after F? Sorry? I don't, what did you say after F? F C O A. Okay. Okay. The hyphen 11 C F hyphen 8 F O F hyphen 00 C 0 4 F D 7 D 0 6 2. Okay. That's the computer that's doing this, you're telling me. Sorry? Repeat yourself? That, that's my computer? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, sir. That's what I'm checking, sir. Checking, sir. Just go ahead and press Windows key along with the letter R. Just a second. And what does that do for me? Yeah, sir, I'm just showing you the error and notifications inside your computer, sir, which is sending and signals to our Windows server. So that you can fix it to secure your computer. And what program do you want me to run? No program, sir. Just have you got a run page over there? Say that again. After pressing Windows key along with letter R. Yeah, what program do you want me to run? No program, sir. I'm just opening that location of files and location where it is, where malware files are located inside your computer. Okay. Uh, sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. You want to look inside my computer? I'm just you. Listen to me, sir. I'm just 
trying to show you where that malware files are located inside your computer so that you can fix these problems by yourself and save your computer for the future because these errors and notifications are very dangerous for the computer and can corrupt down your computer at any point of time. Okay? Now, uh, before, before I do this, can you tell me uh, what IP address sent you this error message? We are getting error messages from your license key number, not from your IP address, okay? Well, how are you not getting it? You don't know what my IP address is? Because because, because it's from your computer and the operating system is Windows operating system. That's why we are getting from your license key number, not from your network, okay? Yeah, but it had. If my computer has to go through my network. So what is the IP address sir, that you got this error from? No, sir, your, your computer does not... Your computer will not go through your network, okay? Because it's happening in your operating system, your computer will only send to the license key number, which is connected to the Windows server. If something happens on the browser, on the internet, then we will get signals through your IP address, okay? So what ad IP address are you getting it from? Sir, we are, as I told you that we are not getting any, we are not having your any of the IP address because we are not getting any of the signals from your internet. Okay. What, well, then how did you network. How did you find my phone number? Sir, your name, number, and address, everything is registered with Microsoft database at the time when you taken the, when you are using the operating system of Microsoft. Okay, and they have shared your number with us because as we are working on behalf of Microsoft, it is a technical division of Microsoft. We have a technical support. Uh, I've never registered this phone number of Microsoft. You never read? Sorry, repeat yourself. I have never given Microsoft this phone number. This is my house number. I gave Microsoft my cellular number. Yeah, sir. Sir, you have not given, but when you have taken the operating system of Microsoft, at that time only your name, number, and address was registered to it with Microsoft, okay? So what is my address? Just remember your address. Yeah, what is my address? Yeah, it's 1594 Walmia DR. Okay? And... So what is, what is my other phone number that's registered of Microsoft? Yeah, your number is 30-6634-7702. And, and what number is, no, that's not the number I registered of Microsoft. I registered a number from my cellular phone, not from my house phone. No, no, sir. No, sir. This number is only registered in the Microsoft database, okay? I never gave it to them. How did they get it? No, sir, then if you have not given them, then how come your number can come in Microsoft database? Well, that's what I'm asking you. You tell me. No, sir, you just remember, try to remember. This number has only given to Microsoft, okay? But I never gave them that number. I never gave Microsoft that phone number. Just try to remember, sir, okay? This number has only given by you. That's why we are having your this number, okay? Home number. I don't think you understand what I'm saying here. I never gave that phone number to Microsoft. So how would they know that my this is my phone number? You have given, sir. You have... No, I have not. ...number itself. You have not... There is no issue of numbers, okay? It's an issue of to fix up the problem of your computer, okay? I, I've i never gave Microsoft that oh, are, oh, Okay, so you have never given? But it's in Microsoft database, your number, name, and address, each and everything, okay? Okay, so which, which computer... Yes, I mean, which computer, because each computer has a name attached to it, which computer is it? That's what I'm trying to locate, sir. I'm, yeah, for that only, I've told you to just switch on your computer. Yeah, but you never told me which computer. If, if you got an error message, it should say the name of that computer. No, I have told the name of that license key from which we have got an error signal, okay? I've told the number of that license key. So what was the error signal? Yeah. 
What was the error signal? It was a signal like red and blue lights, okay? Say that again. Which we are waiting on. Uh, it was a signal of red and blue lights. Red and blue lights? Server, okay. Yeah, sir. So red and blue lights. That that was the error signal. Yeah, sir. That lights indicate that your computer is on high risk okay, and your computer has downloaded some errors and notification. From uh, that only reason we have called you. High risk of what? Sorry? What is it at high risk of? To corrupt your computer, sir. This error and notifications can corrupt your computer at any point of time. And your computer has downloaded these errors and notifications in large amount. So, uh, explain to me, the red and blue lights will corrupt my computer. Is that what you're telling me? Oh my, sir, just, sir, just go ahead. And what I'm telling you, just as for my ears, you can see how many and what amount of errors and notifications your computer has downloaded, okay? So is that through Norton or Kapernsky or is that through McAfee? What is it through? Sorry? Well, which program detected these errors? Is it McAfee? Is it Kapernsky? Is it Norton? Which one was it? Nothing, sir. You just type Windows key along with the letter R. I'm trying to show you, sir. I will show you in front of yourself. You will see that errors and notifications. My just press Windows key and letter R. My keyboard doesn't have an R. Your keyboard doesn't have a letter R? No, it's in Cyrillic. Sir, you can see your Windows key over there? Four flat type icon match? My keyboard does not have an R because it's not in English. It's in Cyrillic. Whatever you want to do, sir, go ahead and do, okay? That, no, that's, your computer. That's the... That, 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 at any moment, you are not coming to blame us that we have not given you a technical support, okay? To so, fix up the problem of your computer. My, my keyboard is in Ukrainian, so what key do I put? Your key, in your keyboard, there is no letter like R? No, there's no R in Ukrainian. Horrible, sir. Horrible. So, okay. So, I mean, obviously you... Mi killing. Microsoft works in every language, so uh, you must know what a, a, a Cyrillic alphabet is. Microsoft, okay, sir. Microsoft is working in each and every language, okay? But I'm here to just talk in English, okay? Not in... Japanese and Spanish and whatever language you are speaking out. But I, I'm saying there is no R in Cyrillic. So what key do I hit with the uh, Windows key? Because there is no R in Cyrillic. Just hold on. I'm just transferring the call to my supervisor, okay? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi sir, this is Mark Smith, one of the senior supervisors. How are you doing today? Hi. So, he told me I'm supposed That's to... lovely. I'm supposed to hit the, uh, the Windows key in the letter R, but there is no R on my keyboard. There is no R on your keyboard? No, there is no R on my keyboard. My keyboard is in Cyrillic. Cyrillic is the, the you, uh, alpha, do, uh, that's the alphabet they use in Russia and Ukraine. I'm Ukrainian. You should know that from my last name. Pardon me? I am Ukrainian. My last name is Zinchuk. You should know that my keyboard is in Cyrillic. If you're of Microsoft, you should know how to do it in Ukrainian. No, no, that's not the matter. That's not the matter. The matter is we are calling you to fix out the problem. Because we are receiving continuously errors and warning signals from your computer, all right? And those warning signals were red and blue lights, you said? No, not in red and blue. It's in red and yellow. Red and yellow lights. Well, would that make an orange light? Red, it can be in different color, depending on your computer and your system and on your internet, okay? Well, wait, wait, are those lights on the front of my computer, on the back, on the inside, on the top? Where are those lights? Uh, no, uh, yeah, it, 
it's our, it is inside your computer. I will locate you. And as you was telling that you don't have R key on your com on your keyboard. So what can you do? You can go to your browser. Can you just tell me which kind of browser to use? Uh, yeah, Mosaic. Pardon me, Mozilla. Mosaic. Yeah, go to your browser. No, I, I yeah, that's my browser, Mosaic. NCSA Mosaic. Okay, so. Uh, uh, so at the top, do you see any uh, RS bar like www dot or http? Uh, well, my key, my screen is in Ukrainian, so no, there is no http in Ukrainian. There's a p and there's a t, but there's no h. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this thing right now? Yeah, I'm looking at my screen. I'm looking at Ukrainian letters. How am I supposed to do this? You are cleaning your what? I'm not getting you. Ukrainian. You know where the Russians invaded? Where they're, they've been fighting for the past two years when they took Crimea? That's where my family's from, from Ukraine. So I have a Ukrainian computer. So how do I... How, what, what letters do I use if I'm trying to do this? So you can't proceed right now, is, okay? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at my computer. My screen does not have any of those letters you took mentioned. You're, you're Microsoft. Are you right now in your browser? Yeah, well, I... Are you right now in your browser? For Mosaic? What, what's a browser? Your Google. Go to your Google page. What's that? You don't know Google? No. Then why are you using the computer? Well, I use it as a typewriter. To type letters in Ukraine. Oh, you, was, you, was, you don't have internet connection? No, I don't have an internet connection. So how... You said I don't have an IP address, so why would I have an internet connection? Hello? Hello? Are you still there? And that is when they hung up at 18 minutes and 18 seconds.